Hi Sag, welcome to my channel. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support. Today we are going to find out for those of you who are single and looking, who will you be in a romantic relationship with in the future? Please bear in mind that this is a general reading and may not apply to each and every one of you. Spirits and angels, please show me. Who will Sagittarius be in a romantic relationship with in the future? Shaman Mark. Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck. This is somebody very frank, very frank, very honest. But another thing that I'm getting here is that Ten of Pentacles, they may either come from money or that they have built something for themselves. They, uh, I, I'm, I'm sensing this person may have um, also real estate, some property. Um, basically, Ten of Pentacles is, is a lot of money. Number 10, 10 is the completion number. Either the money comes from the family or that they've really they've worked really hard to achieve whatever they have achieved today uh, in their life definitely sends a lot of abundance in regards to this person and such for some of you maybe you've already met this person and some of you haven't yet okay just stay what resonates with you we've got the king of swords here this is somebody quite calculative um and i feel like the king of swords also is somebody very intelligent um and this person may have some sort of authority or or their own business or businesses and the king of swords also can indicate somebody who sits at, at a very high rank if they work for somebody you know they have a high position some sort of power authority over people or, or over uh, the company and also we've got the eight of cups here in reverse feels like when you meet this person such this this is somebody whom is here to stay okay this is someone whom looks for somebody who will be a very good uh, partner somebody whom they can build with or build a legacy together or build a family i definitely sense this person has a lot of money okay or that or that they could be planning towards making a lot of money because the king of swords is a strategic king right this person may be a libra gemini aquarius can also be a virgo capricorn taurus i'm seeing the strength card here this is a leo energy maybe this person is a leo um the strength indicates somebody whom is very strong okay somebody very strong strong or strong willed could be physically strong or somebody whom is very strong willed but also i feel like um this will be somebody whom is very very careful with the things they say uh, they tread very carefully around people around the decisions that they make or how they treat people also at the same time i sense a lot of patience as well but be very careful though if you look at the strength card here this person is actually an angel she's like putting her hand in the lion's mouth right so this is somebody whom either uh either you or them okay again it can it can be reversed it feels like somebody will have to treat this person a certain way or that they will treat you a certain way where that you would i wouldn't say obey or you know so that they can do things their way i i, I don't sense manipulation at all because the king of swords is in an upright position here so what i'm seeing here is this person is very careful with the thing that they say but also it could also it could also indicate taming the wild beast right so a little bit uh all as hmm, as much as they are they can be somebody very straightforward right but also it's this is somebody whom if you mistreat them <laughs> watch out that's definitely what i'm getting here if they're being mistreated watch out <laughs> because this person is no bs no nonsense as well okay ace of swords somebody very i would say intelligent again somebody who communicates really well and also communicates the truth and clarity um i feel like i don't see this person as a liar at all okay they definitely speak their mind and also we've got the queen of pentacles here in love first for me this indicates um a virgo capricorn taurus energy for some of them maybe this person may have somebody else in the past okay whom 
whom they're thinking about letting go because we've got the two of pentacles here so this person either may have been married in the past or may have had a serious uh, relationship or a long-term connection that by the time you meet this person it feels like this person will be you know possibly wondering if they should let go of the other person to be with you or it could go vice versa it could be you when you meet this person you might be thinking about leaving somebody behind and choose this person for some of you maybe you've already met this person especially if this person is you know if, if you know this person has somebody else okay and we've also got the um ace of pentacles here and reverse four ones in reverse and the judgment for some of you this may be someone returning from your past okay some of you only if you if you if you especially if you know the storyline actually um applies to somebody you already know such i feel like it could also be somebody from your past right because judgment can indicate a revival from the past something that has been buried um somebody maybe you were not in a relationship with this person maybe you've known this person before okay or that you've met this person before no matter how briefly or how long uh, you've known this person for and also we've got the four ones in reverse eight of pentacles in reverse some of you yeah i do see this could be somebody you may have had a start in the beginning and then it just didn't take off for, for whatever reason maybe four ones can indicate some sort of instability within the connection or that somebody had to move away or move to another country some some indication of you know instability whatever the instability could be such let's see more another thing that i'm getting here such is like this person if they have money if they find out somebody wants them for their money they'll cut this person off so they don't like to be taken advantage of i see that as well the star is in reverse ace of cups You've got two aces here, Satch. So it feels like when you meet this person, something needs to go. Someone needs to go. Like as in something needs to be eliminated. Someone needs to be elim eliminated. Or some sacrifice that needs to be made here, okay? Uh, whether it's a third party or a living situation, location, or something, okay? It can be anything here. Or a, a certain attitude or behavior. So we've got the justice here in reverse. It just feels like this is somebody whom could have been married in the past well if they're currently married right now feels like this person is gonna divorce the other person to be with you okay and also we've got the eight of pentacles in reverse and the three of pentacles if some of you it could be somebody from your past whom you're separated from maybe your next romantic relationship will be with the same person from your past okay whom you were in a romantic relationship with or a, a serious connection with in the past that's just for some of you um especially if this person is a libra or aquarius gemini uh could also be um, a virgo capricorn taurus pisces cancer scorpio can be any sign all right so three of pentacles it feels like either you'll be meeting this person for those of you if you haven't met this person yet feels like maybe you'll be meeting this person while you're working uh both of you could be working together or inside a building somewhere three of pentacles actually this is a church for some of you do go to a church you may meet this person while you are at a church or it could be a work situation or any sorts of events any sorts of activities where there are other people around okay if you look at the three of pentacles there are three people there so uh, most likely you meet this person while there are some other people around maybe also it could be I'm sensing more like in a building or something enclosed, but it's open for public, okay? Some of it could be at a restaurant. If you meet this person online, both of you may be meeting up at a restaurant. That's definitely what I'm getting here. Let's see more. Oh, Two of Cups is here, and also we've got the Queen of Wands. Okay, this person when you meet this person some of you again you may maybe you've already met this person this person finds you really really attractive alluring um they find you to be somebody very powerful in some way shape or form two of cups here they feel like both of you get along or that have the same same interests or something that is um how do you say similar okay both of you may have the same hobby same interests or something that both of you actually 
you know, how do you say compatibility? Or maybe it could it could be them, this person thinking that you are very compatible with them, because it feels some like something is shared between the two of you. Okay, both of you may be sharing the same thing, same interest again, or same hobby, or same type of work, um, or being in the same field. Uh, of work, okay, and also we've got the hangman here. Hangman is in reverse. Okay, this definitely feels like with the seven of cups here. I feel like such this could be a Piscean. Okay, it can be any sign. Doesn't really matter. I feel like um it, when you meet this person, you'd be kind of hanging in a limbo, as in the connection won't. Move forward that quickly, okay? Until somebody have some clarity, until somebody let go of somebody else or something else here, feels like there needs to be a sacrifice before this connection can be a full blown, uh, connection like a relationship that is serious. We've also got the seven of cups here. Feels like this person may have other options, or you may have other options when you meet each other. But eventually, somebody is going to make a decision here with Ace of Swords. After thinking things through, after seeing things very clearly, and deciding to choose you, or you deciding to choose this person, I feel like this new love beginning is very sweet. It feels very genuine. Mm, and both of you, if some of you, if you're looking forward to getting pregnant or being, or getting the other person pregnant, vice versa, yeah, there could be a chance for that as well. Ace of Cups, a new love is born. Um, also could indicate a baby girl for those of you thinking about pregnancy. If you're not, then don't don't worry about that part. Okay. <laughs> anyway, such this is your reading. I hope you resonated. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm gonna leave you with. My latest video on the screen right now is from my second channel. For those of you who don't know, I do have a second channel. It's a travel vlog channel. I hope to see you over there. If not, it's fine too. I hope to see you back here on your next reading. I haven't been posting for the past two days your sign. It's because it was because I was uh, moving around. <laughs> I was moving. As you guys know, I'm a digital nomad. So uh, when I'm like when I go missing and like for two, three, four days, it's because possibly I'm I was uh, I'm moving, packing my stuff, so trying to get myself situated and settle down. But anyway, such I hope to see you tomorrow at your next reading, and also I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. All right, take care, such bye.